Good morning. They tell a story of two fishermen fishing side by side. And one sees the way the other fisherman, whenever he catches a big fat fish, he throws it back in the water, only keeping in his bucket the small fish. He turns to his friend, why? And he says, why are you throwing away back into the water the best, the biggest, fattest fish? And he said, I'll tell you, I have a very small oven at home and the big fish won't fit into my oven. So I only keep the small fish. Sometimes in life we're like that fisherman. When the biggest and the best opportunities come our way, we think we're too small to handle them. We can't succeed in such a large measure. And so we don't even try, we give up, we throw them away. Today is the 12th day of Tammuz. 12th day of Tammuz is the day that the previous Lubavitch Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Schneerson, was freed from Soviet prison and ultimately immigrated to America to 770 Eastern Parkway, beginning the headquarters at Chabad headquarters in Eastern Parkway. However, in Russia, he fought communism for 70 years with underground schools and synagogues and mikvah and that's why he was imprisoned in Russia. Now, think about it. Joseph Stalin, the mightiest regime, powerful nation at the time, against a rabbi by the name of Joseph Schneerson. Who would ever think that Joseph Schneerson would succeed and Joseph Stalin would fall? But that's the story of the Jew. In this week's Torah portion, Bilam, the Gentile prophet, prophesizes about the Jewish people. And one of the things he says is, they are a nation, hein ka'are uklavi, Shachav, they crouch like a lion and a lioness. Bilam, the Gentile prophet, compares the Jews to a crouching lion and lioness. And the question is, I understand to compare the Jews to a lion, but why a crouching one? And what Bilam was saying is that even when the Jews are crouching, when they seem low, when they see, seem like they are down and out, like they are being oppressed and persecuted and haunted and hunted like animals, they may seem like a crouched lion, but you know when you see a crouched lion, you never mistaken it to be weak. You know that it has all of its fero fer ferociousness and all of its power and all of its might, and in a moment it could leap up with all of its strength. So to the Jewish people, Bilam says, Kshachav kari ukolavi, they may be crouching sometimes in history, like a crouching lion and lioness, but in a moment's time, they could rise up with all of their power, resilience, strength, and like a mighty lion, rise to greatness. It's no wonder that the state of Israel's symbol is the lion, because yes, we've crouched, especially during the Holocaust, but look at us now. On Wednesday, I'm gonna have the great privilege of joining Dini in Israel. And on Thursday night, I land on Thursday, but on Thursday night is the opening of the Maccabean Games. And they say President Biden's gonna be there, but I'm gonna be there, God willing, with Dini. And the reason I go is not because I'm athletic, but I love watching Jews from 80 nations celebrating their Judaism proudly in the revived, renewed land of Israel that God gave us 4,000 years ago. That's the story of the crouching lion. Never think you're too small. Never think you can't handle something so great.